Cameron Carpenter, the organist, and I'm extremely excited and pleased to be bringing this massive Rogers organ to the green space in New York City. I mean, it used to be that I had time to spend huge amounts of time on every single organ, but because, I mean, it's the problem to have. I'm extremely lucky and very, very grateful to have the ability to, you know, and the, and the demand to play in all these places. Uh, and, but consequently, it's very difficult to really feel that I know any single instrument, and, and I almost never do. And I'm very, very outspoken about the, um, what a scandal that is, and I feel it most of all. It's unbelievably stressful for me, but I also feel increasingly uncomfortable with the idea of performing for, you know, huge audiences and people who are paying money to hear me when I'm effectively you know, and by my own standards at least, basically unprepared or underprepared, usually severely underprepared in some way. And I'm unhappy with the situation with the pipe organ where I'm, I don't know my instrument. You know, I want to have the same relationship that Joshua Bell has with his instrument or, you know, or even some of the pianists. And uh, that's why I've become the world's most outspoken advocate for the digital organ, a title for which, by the way, there's not much competition, unfortunately, but I think there soon will be. I think every serious musician has his or her place. Uh, my place, I feel, is um, to do things with the organ that it never would want to do and still doesn't want to do, and for people who didn't know that they wanted to hear it, which is exactly what's happening. <laughs>